Hey, all about fishing with Big Kev. Stay tuned to your review on my Lund 1875 Impact. First, like and subscribe. Love to have you on the channel. Hey, I wanted to do a two-year review on my Lund Impact. I did a one-year review. I've made some changes, and I wanted to kind of talk to you about some issues I had and some changes I've made. So first of all, again, no problems with the Dorado. It's worked like a champ. No issues with my boat EFX steps. My Minkota Tarova. This is an 80 pound, 24 volt iPilot. No issues at all. Um, my Sea Light uh, transducer pole, I've had no issues. Along with my Active Target, I have had no issues. So, as far as the trailer goes, um, no issues with the trailer. The only thing that I've changed this middle of last year, because we went to Table Rock and a bunch of other places far away, is I got rid of the. Uh, what I call China Bomb tires and went with the Goodyear Durance tires um, just to have that that peace of mind so put four of those on um, not that the other tires were bad it just it was a trust issue for me personally so second of all the only other thing is I lost one of my buddy bearing covers so I replaced that they sell them individually uh, back here I've got no issues with my mercury motor it worked like a champ um, again I had it serviced at Wakanda Boats the guys serviced it for me lower unit engine oil filters and everything I've done that annually this is my second year going on my third summer so this fall I'll have to change the water pump impeller um, I've already talked to my dealer about that, so that'll be in tune with the annual maintenance at the end of the year. Um, as far as my talent goes, no issues. It's worked like a champ, and uh, no complaints there. So we'll jump up in the boat. That's where most of the uh, changes are that I've done to my boat, and where one of my problems occurred in my boat. All right, we're in the boat. So, if you remember last year, I did the, the added the battery for my electronics and a digital charger. So in here, I did the Minkota digital charger, and then the the, the original battery with the disconnect. And then in this one, it was storage, and we we changed it into another battery wired in with this. And it's all on that charger, which is pulled out right here. And this is this pulls off this holder and plugs into an extension cord so you don't have to get in the boat. So <clears throat> that all worked out really well and it's worked great. Storage compartments on both sides, no issues. Uh, this one, the little cooler thing, I use mainly as a trash can or just dry storage. One thing I did at the helm, is I added a 12 inch HDS Live and moved my 9 inch over to the side. These are all network along with network to the front end as well. One thing you get with the HDS is the tool dual uh, Ethernet ports. So this is network to here and this is networked up front. So I've added these two and moved this. This was over here when I bought the boat, so I added a 12 and moved the 9 here on a ram mount. Another thing I added was Bode FX. has come out with the Talon remote control uh, holder. So it just holds my, my remote control for me. And one other item I added up on the windshield is a comp just a manual compass. I just uh, it saves me from changing the pages on the, on the graphs 
and allows me to do what I can there and just see where I'm at on these lakes. So one of the problems, the, the only problem I had with this boat last year is on my windshield. At the end of the year, this center windshield was about an inch or so below here. And they tried to adjust it and couldn't get it. So I talked to my dealer and Lund warrantied the console. And so my Lund dealer changed this console out and got it all realigned for me and no questions asked. Wakanda Boat did the work. They did a fantastic job getting things lined up. Lund, Lund warrantied the console work. And it even came with a new glove box and keys, so that's part of the console, I guess. So anyway, that issue was resolved under warranty through my dealer at Wakanda Boats. No questions asked. And that's the only issue I had really with the boat last year. So one of the changes I did on the front end was I put the pommel seat. Uh, bow seat on and another thing I did is add two HDS live nines on the front one is dedicated the top one to the active target the bottom one is dedicated or networked to the front end and also it runs my trolling motor transducer so no issues with the uh, trolling motor at all there um, one thing I did add though up here on the front is I added an external radio antenna and the reason why is I get out on my lakes and if I was listening to the river or the radio when the grandkids and stuff were in the boat, we, we'd lose signal. So what I found out about your radio in these boats, folks, is on the back of your radio wire where your antenna plugs in, it's just a wire that runs and bolts to the windshield mount. And it's only about 20 some inches long and it's just a piece of wire. So I got this marine antenna. I have it in on my radio, so we're gonna try that this year. Uh, another, another thing is these under console drawers, no issues at all with the drawers. I got them on both sides. No issues with them at all. Um, so really the, the boat's just been outstanding for the second year. And uh, we're going out tomorrow to Milford, so that'll be the first time on the water with the new graphs. So kind of excited with that and uh, give that a whirl. It'll be the first time with this new pommel seat, um, the Millennium Pommel Seat. So really excited about that and, and uh, getting that to uh, see how that all works and how the bigger graph really plays into effect with how we get things situated so hey like and subscribe all about fishing with big kev thanks for sticking around on my second year uh, of my lund impact xs 1875 this is a 22 model again i ordered this late 21 got it in 22 at wakanda boats in glen elder um, i was just there when i picked it up on the windshield they've got a lot of nice looking Lund boats in stock. So if you're looking for a Lund boat, check out Wakanda Boats in Glen Elder and Republican City, Nebraska. Terry and his folks will be glad to help you out. Until we see you on the water, tight lines, everybody take care.